G'day and welcome to the F Word Discussions. Today I'm here with Ruvan. I know PJ is on leave this week, Ruvan, so it's nice to chat to you again. And happy Easter to everyone. I know it's a long weekend. It's a Friday. Today is the, it's the holiday, but also on Monday. So enjoy your Easter weekend and stay safe if you're driving on the road. Um, Ruvan, I just need to touch on, on this point. It was big news in the financial industry, but throughout South Africa. And it was this, the sad news that Marcus Eurester passed away, but it's now a week ago. Um, I mean, it's just such a sad story. I mean, anything about it is, is kind of sad. Just from 2017 now, it, it was with Steinoff, everything was, you know, we found out what happened with Steinoff. And it reminds you so much of what happened to Bernie Madoff in the U.S., where both of them was very bright people. They were very successful before they were fraudulent. But then it just wasn't enough. They they needed to, to accumulate more and more. And that's when the fraud comes in. They try and manipulate the statements or the financial statements. Um, and it's really yeah, just, just sad to see it. And I mean, that's big scale, Ruben. But we, we kind of see it every day, not with all our clients, but you kind of see it with, with clients is they ask you like where my situation, where I am in my life. I've got the question the other day. So where I'm in my life, I'm in my mid-30s. Am I above average, my net worth? You know, am I uh, doing better than my peers? And it was an interesting question, but that's what we do. We compare ourselves to, to the people around us. And I'm just too better than them. And the thing is, if you get more successful, the people around you change because now you're surrounded by more successful people as well. And then you move up in life and then you surround yourself by more people. And you see this, you thought you're earning my, uh, a lot of money. Now you, you compare yourself to others. And you feel you have to elevate yourself the whole time. So that leads to two things. Firstly, it's unhappiness because if you really need to, to aspire to something higher the whole time and you're not content with what you have, you will never be happy. I mean, if your income raised but your expectations is always higher than your income, you will kind of never feel fulfilled, never feel happy. And, and that's a trap that we fall in um, on a lower scale. And that's also where Marcus USC didn't start there as big a scale. It kind of accumulated over time. And then that's where the second point is we, we like I said, we, we try to step up the whole time. And sometimes we step over the line. And we, like I said, it might not be as big a scale as um, doing fraudulent statements for a listed company. But we kind of just push the boundary where we know maybe that's not the right ethical thing to do. But, you know, who's, who's looking? No one will really know. And then we, we do it and we just, it's a small accumulated step. So it's not one day where you realize I'm going to be fraudulent. It's small daily steps where you trying to aspire to be like other people, trying to have more and more and more. And, and that's a very dangerous trap that you can fall into. And that's definitely what we, when we talk to clients, is just to make sure that they are seen. What is your goals? What is your idea of a successful life? And stay true to who you are. Because we can easily, all of us, can easily lose the, the plot if we don't have someone else outside to just to give you perspective. So I think, once again, that's where a good financial advisor adds value, just to make sure that you kind of stay true to who you are and what is important to you. Is it your family? Then have time to spend time with family. Is it to look after your parents? You know, then, then work hard by all means, but that is who you are working for. And just stay true to do you and I don't mean do not be ambitious. That's that's definitely not what I'm saying. But there's a level of risk you just have to keep in mind. Like there's always opportunity because if you do this, you you're neglecting something else. So I think staying true to your know where you're working towards, then you can be happy, you can be rich, and you can be fulfilled. It's not that you don't can't be rich and be happy. You can if you do it for the right things and um, if you aspire to something that's true to yourself so that just kind of got my thoughts going um and it's really sad to see this marcus used to think and i think people that need to, we, we must learn something from this even in our small lives where we are and it's not always the big scale but it's also what we do on a daily basis Ruben. so um yeah um i'm not sure if you have any thoughts on that if that made you kind of think about money and life and where you are heading and then um what do, what do you want to talk with us today. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Yeah, look, at the end of the day, um, these crimes affected, you know, millions of people. Um, but, you know, you could still feel for the family at the end of the day. 
Um, you know, it's it's not their fault. There's nothing to do with them. Um, you know, and anyone taking his life, especially with with the situation and um, what he has probably left them with, um, is 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 you know, it's it's awful. So you know, putting yourself in in their shoes, I think anyone could could feel for family. Um, you know, especially in the limelight, like it is. Um, and and you know, if you even look. You know, look at Facebook and, and and all of these news agencies when they post about it. The comments are, are you know are, are, are horrible. To, to be honest, you know. No so, sympathy. Yeah. You know, putting putting yeah, no sympathy. Um, you know, which which you can you know to a certain extent, especially if you were affected, you can you can sort of understand it. Um, but you know, still, it's it's a human being and and other people um, around him. Um, you know is involved um, without being involved, you know. So um, anyway, with, without being too, too, too sad about it. Um, so I spoke, I spoke to a client earlier this week. Um, we, did, uh, we did a presentation for, for them. And um, one of, the, one of the, the, the investment structures that I don't think we speak about a lot, but I think is, is um, I, I think, pretty good in, in, in the specific uh, economic cycle that we're in, um, especially with higher interest rates, um, is guaranteed products. Uh, now, of course, you get different different uh, uh, sorts of, of guaranteed products. Um, what I would specifically uh, touch on now um, is guaranteed products that actually pay you an income. Um, so I'm just going to open my my screen. So this is, is, is one of the, how can I say, quotations or one of the proposals that, that we actually made. Um, so this was specific to a client. Now, once again, bear in mind, this is not financial advice. I'm just showing you um, how, how something like this would look. Um, and remember that these, uh, these rates actually change weekly. Um, so, so this would definitely not look the same tomorrow or next week um, than, it, than it does now. So with this proposal, we, we, we took 10 million rand, um, and that 10, 10 million rand we give to this company. Um, there are many companies that do this uh, uh, guaranteed products. Um, but what they basically do is, is they will give you 10 million rand back at the maturity. So what, what, what it is, the maturity is then for five years. So for five years, you will not be able to touch that capital. Um, but the end of the five years, which would be the, the, the maturity date um, for this specifically, would have been the 28th of March, 2029. They will give you your 10 million rand back. So the 10 million rand that you invested, you get the 10 million back. But what do they do? They pay you an income um, out of, out of that, that, that uh, capital that you've invested. How do they do that? Uh, 7 million rand out of, out of this specific investment, they would have taken to specifically give you your 10 million back, then the 3 million that's left would be used to pay you the income. Um, now, if you, if you look there on, on uh, this image, you'll see that the, the amount that they will give you is about 55 and a half thousand uh, per month. Now, of course, that would be that 3 million that they've taken out of, out of that investment, um, but that 7 million um, that I previously spoke about, that would build your capital back to the 10 million. Um, now, of course, like I said, there are guaranteed products that pay you a guaranteed uh, growth. Um, then they would obviously not pay you the income. So if you take that 3 million rand, um, it would have not come out of the investment. And of course, the maturity value would have been, would have been more. Um, now, if you see the, uh, the taxable portion, now this can definitely be um, quite tax efficient, uh, obviously depending on the way that they invest that 3 million rand um, in the background um, would sort of give you uh, 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 that taxable portion of that money. Um, and, and, you know, the fixed net effective return per year, if you, if you look at that, that's of course uh, post-tax, 7.41%. Uh, uh, that's, that's quite good. Um, now, of course, that changes, like I said, weekly. Um, and it's probably on, on the higher side than it would normally be. Um, so it's actually, I think, one of the better times to, to, to go into one of these products. Um, but obviously, this is one of those products where uh, it should be part of your, of your, of your portfolio. This, not, this should not be your total portfolio. It should be part of your portfolio. Um, you should definitely diversify in, in different asset classes and different structures. Um, but it's quite a, it's quite a nice, 
I would say, guarantee for, for certain individuals. And of course, certain people are more risk averse than others. And, and I think this is, this is quite, a, quite a good uh, structure for, for certain individuals. Yeah, thank you, Ruben. That is quite a good quote. I must say the previous times I've looked at it, it wasn't as high. So just once again, if you invest 10 million, you can actually get an income of 55, roughly 55,000 rand per month and still get your 10 million at the end of five years. So it might make a lot of sense for people who had a windfall, maybe inherit some money, or win the lotto or whatever, because it gives you safety, that it gives you an income, so it gives you cash flow, but also it protects your money for at least five years. So it protects you against yourself for not using all of that money within the next, within the first year, and then you have nothing left. So I think this makes a lot of sense for a lot of people. Um, and like I said now, especially the rates are quite high because interest rates are high at the moment. It won't always be, like you say, as high a percentage, but I think at the moment it's definitely w w something to worth looking at or consider in your overall plan. So no, 100% great. Thanks for that, everyone. So what do you call it? It's a guaranteed income annuity, if um, the correct term. So what would you... You call it, it's, you know, it's guaranteed income. You get a guaranteed five-year product. Like we once said, you invest 10 million, maybe get um, 14 million at the end of five years, or you have this where it gives you the cash flow um, throughout the time. Great. Everyone, thank you. Enjoy your long weekend, and we will be back there next week to discuss more about the world of finance. As always, if you have any questions or comments or Something that you want us to discuss, please let us know by commenting below. Thank you. Cheers.